Hi guys, this is Paige. I wanted to make this video about um, when Jesus is speaking about those who are blessed um, and how these qualities are the qualities that we should be looking for in ourselves to have as children of God. Okay, so this is Matthew 5 and I'm going to go 1 to 12. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. <clears throat> and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. <clears throat> Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Okay, now I want to go into almost each one and talk about it and how we have to be understanding that like when Jesus is saying that, those are all qualities that we want to have, you know, because that's like how you're blessed, you know. <laughs> Every single child of God, you know, that's walking in the light is blessed because they're, you know, an inheritor of the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> but there's qualities that God wants us to grow in. Um, and we can be more and more blessed by God as we seek him and as we, <clears throat> you know, adapt to his ways and what he likes, you know. Um, okay, so this is the first one. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so poor in spirit means humble. Um, God hates pride, you know. We have to work on our pride, and we have to, you know, practice being humble. Um, and seeing where the pride is in ourselves, and, and trying to just kind of um, not feed it, even though it can be hard at times, you know. Um, God loves humbleness. Jesus is very humble, you know. Um, and when we truly know that it's all God that saved us and God that's doing the works in us and, and it's all Him, really, we just submit. I mean, it's like you, you get more humble because <laughs> it's really, we can't do anything without Him. Okay, this is, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Okay, this one, I kind of feel like, this is like the sufferings that you have to go through when you're of, of Christ. Um, you know, like, because you will mourn, um, and you will suffer when you're with Jesus uh, for certain things at certain times, you know. Like if you're going through a trial, or if people are mean to you, or if you see, you know, people you love that they're lost, like it makes you sad inside and grieved, you know. But then he's saying like, you will be comforted. Like Jesus is our comforter. The Holy Spirit is our comforter, you know. But in heaven, God's going to comfort us too and wipe away all our tears and everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Okay, so meek can mean humble, and it can also mean submissive and gentle. So the meek are kind of like submissive to God, like they submit to him, you know. Um, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Okay, so are we hating evil? Are we, you know, seeking good, um, wanting to be... Um, holy for God, you know, even though we're not perfect, but, um, you know, following his ways and not wanting to do what's evil. Um, and it's his righteousness that we, uh, receive. 
um, when we have faith in Him. But of course, He wants us to live in fellowship with Him, meaning we don't live in intentional sin, okay? And if we sin, we have an advocate, and He forgives us of our sins. Okay, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Okay, so do you have mercy on other people? Or are you a, are you judgmental of them? You know, like, um, being super, super judgmental of people, of, especially of brothers and sisters, is not a good thing to do. Um, of course, if they are in the wrong and it's against the Bible, like, you can go correct them and stuff. But being very, very harsh on them or very judgmental, like, is... is not a good thing. Even Jesus, when he, when the woman caught in adultery was like, came before him with all those people that wanted to stone her, he had mercy on her. He wasn't like, look at you and look what you did and all this stuff. He had, he had mercy, you know? So we have to think about, are we being merciful to brothers and sisters? Are we being merciful to, to uh, people that don't know God, you know? Cause like, um, it says here that the blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy because we want mercy from God. So we should be showing mercy to other people too. Um, also, because we love them, we should have to show mercy. Okay, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Okay, are you making your heart pure? Do you have a contrite heart that's sorry for sin um, and that wants to love people? Um uh, or is there wickedness in there? You know, you really have to look at it, look at your heart, you know, and, and the evil that's in there, you know, and work on it or, or ask God, you know, to help you with it. Because we want to make sure that we have a pure, loving, compassionate heart for him and for other people, you know. Um, okay. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Okay, so do you make peace with people or do you cause problems with other people? Like, I have done some videos that like correct things in the body of Christ, but I'm not trying to cause contention, you know. I'm trying to correct the issue so that it c we can all get better and have peace with one another. Like... If there is like a confrontation you have with a brother or sister and you don't want to make peace with them, that's not good because we're supposed to be peacemakers. We're supposed to be making peace with each other, not fighting against each other, you know? Like we can correct the person if they're wrong, you know, to try to show them that's biblical, you know, to do. But if they can't see it and they don't want to make peace, that's not good. Because even here, we're supposed to be the peacemakers. The, the children of God are the peacemakers, okay? So are you making peace with people and your brothers and sisters? Okay, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Okay, this is just like, <laughs> like when people are mean to us and stuff, like, when we talk to them about Jesus and stuff, we're blessed. Because, um, like, we are getting rewards when people do that sort of thing to us. Because it glorifies God. Um, because, you know, on their part, he's evil spoken of. But on our part, he's glorified. Because we're standing, we're making a stand for him. You know? And every evil thing people say to you because of him, like, they're going to be in trouble for it and you're going to be rewarded um blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you yeah so that goes on more with like if they persecute you and say evil things against you you're blessed you know yeah, so we should rejoice over that. <laughs> That's kind of hard to do, but um, yeah, because people can say really mean things, especially online. Um, they can be really mean, but we have to understand that's the evil in them um, that sees the light in us and they hate it, you know? 
Yeah, so I just wanted to share those with you um, because it's, it's important that we look at those things because those are the qualities of a child of God that we should be um, wanting to have, you know. Um, and that's pleasing to God, I mean, and that's, you're blessed that you have those qualities, you know? Yeah, so let's all look at ourselves and see if we have those qualities, um, and work on it, you know, if we don't, <laughs> and ask God to transform us through the Holy Spirit. Okay, bye guys, love you.